it is getting down to crunch time in Haiyan. Well, Granada, because that's still where we're playing until our stadium gets built in the next couple of seasons. We have our second half of the first knockout round Champions League game against Schalke. And we're down three away goals. That's 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 not good. And then we are going to play a pretty solid Real Valladolid team. Their standing doesn't actually reflect where they are. But on the other hand, we have some new best friends in La Liga. And I'll show you who they are in just a minute. My name's F. Angelico, and it's time to get real. Since so losing to Schalke in the first leg of the first knockout round, 3-1, and then we beat Valencia 4-0, and then we beat Real Zaragoza 2-1 in the second leg of the uh, Copa del Rey semifinal. That puts us in the final against Villarreal, who beat Madrid. We uh, then played Zaragoza again and beat them 2-1, thanks to goals by Barry Verdonk and Mark Matasevic against Athletic Club. This was a banger of a game. Robert Maria was a man possessed. We had 18 shots, 40 on target, a 58% possession advantage. Maria had goals in the 17th, 31st, 35th, and 88th minute of the game. Sutter had a goal in the 90th minute. Athletic Club... The three goals kind of make it look close, but when you realize they didn't score after the 25th minute and the Martinez goal came in extra time, it, it really wasn't a close game. Everybody here, except Broderson, had a really solid game. But that's kind of to be expected because Pagano is out injured. So Broderson's my starting left back. He's getting some first-team playing time. He's essentially being thrown to the deep end of the pool and, and being told to swim. He's doing okay. I can't complain, really. I mean, it's my own fault. I don't have enough quality backups there to play. So today we are playing Schalke. We need three goals. Uh, that's that's pretty much what it boils down to. Because if we draw with them, they have the away goal advantage. So we need to beat them and beat them handily. I don't know that that's going to happen. On the other hand, we are first in La Liga. Why? Because our new bestest buddies, Real Batiste, beat Barcelona a couple of weeks ago. Beat them 4-2. And then, of course, they turn around and beat Poro 3-0 in, the in their knockout round stage. And then they thumped Ibar 5-0. So, you know, maybe maybe they, they poked the bear in the zoo, as it were. But, yeah, we're, we are two points ahead with nine games left. And maybe we can hold on to it. Maybe we can't. As you see, Robert Maria currently leads us with 45 goals and a 7.81 rating. Uh, a couple teams started sniffing after him, so I signed him to a new contract, which he gladly accepted. He is currently making 125,000 euros a week, which I am totally fine with. I think he's our highest paid player now. He's 11% of the club's total payroll, but that doesn't take into account the fact that I still have 550,000 euros worth of wiggle room on the payroll budget. He's... Uh, Getting a decent uh, appearance fee, a nice uh, loyalty bo bonus, um, these seasonal landmark goals he agreed to. I had my, I essentially said, hey, let's talk about a new contract. He came back and said, yeah, I want a star player contract. We got to the negotiating table and it was all blank. They wanted me to fill it in. And I had my GM make the offer and he came back with a couple of changes. And I was like, done. You know, I would have paid him more for the seasonal goal bonus and international appearances. Uh, because he is on the Romanian national team. And if he's not, he will be shortly. And there's just no way he couldn't be. And, um, yeah, it's... I'm, I'm quite happy to get that out of the way. We also got 128 million euro release clause on him. So, And, and this time, he's not going to go the way to Helio. He's, he's going to get at least 75% of his release clause, should he decide to leave. Israel leads us with 14 assists. Benvenuti, a 90% pass completion rating. Maria, 12 players of the match awards. Fernandez, 13 yellow cards. Mao, the one red card still. So our 69 goals are second highest in the league. Our 25 goals are second, or 25 goals allowed, rather, are second best. 65 yellow cards are second highest, but, you know, we got 72 points. I'm okay with that. Injury-wise, Israel's out. Sprained ankle ligaments for another month or so, probably. I mean, it says three weeks, but he'll need to get at least one game in on the under-19s to get a uh, match healthy. Uh, Augusto is out for a, another couple of days. He could play today. Um, we'll have to see how that goes. Chances are he's going to be starting on the bench. We've got Schalke coming up. 
I'm going to uh, set my best available 11, check the reserves, and we're going to come back with that match in just a bit. Oh, they're playing a 4-4-2. Well, we're playing our 4 2 4, of course. Seferova can go. Broderson, Uche, Benvenuti, Fernandez is the defensive back four. Van Horn and Malo is the midfielders. Sutter and Resnesek is the attacking midfielders. Verdonk and Maria up top as the strikers. Uh, Broderson is getting the start over Diallo because he's a little bit better. Um, the fact he's being thrown to the deep end of the pool without a life vest, really, it's, it's my fault. I thought I had more depth behind Pagano. And Diallo is not bad, but the fact that Broderson's better is, I don't want to say six and one, half dozen the other, but it's its the truth. Broderson's just better. And I'd much rather have him on the field at this moment than uh, Diallo. Schalke is absolutely bossing us early in the game. Osmani to Osger to Erlenbeck out to Nascimento to Bias. Drives forward, goes outside, holds it up, dispossessed. Malo up to Maria. He holds it up, taps up to Malo out into space for Verdonk. Can he get there? He can. Verdonk gets by one, gets by the other off the post. Reznicek saves it from going out of bounds. Centers in. Malo's there and he scores. That's his first goal of the season. Wow. He's more of an assist guy, though. I'm not expecting him to be a goal scorer. Oh, look at Verdonk. Moves by. Oh, he hit the post, and it looked like it went off the crossbar, too. Nice volley kick by Malo, just sitting in front of the uh, in front of the goal like that. Okay, we need three more. Now Cimento on the corner kick. Knocked away by Benvenuti. Tobias is going to run it down for Schalke. Challenged. Goes back to Osmani. He gets back out to Shonia. What the hell happened there? Are you kidding me? Sorry, I'll mute that. What the hell sort of dive was that by Seferovic? Good grief. Shoni is dispossessed. Verdant gets by the defender. He's one on four with the keeper, and he hits it right at Cabrera. Corner kick. Last chance to score. Reznicek sends it in. Malo can't control it. Maria, however, runs it down over to Verdonk. He holds it up, crosses it back out to Broderson. Broderson gets down. He kicks it off the defender, goes out for a corner. Ah, George Harris, good grief. Reznicek sends it in, knocked away. Malo's going to run it down. When did he pick up a yellow card? Broderson, and the highlight ends. What the hell? Come on, FM. Oh, this is not good. Oh, kickoff highlight. Oh, Joselson can't control it. Seferovic bombs it towards Maria, and he gets by the defender with it. Sh oh, Cubero, a nice save. It wasn't the hardest hit ball, but... Cubero made a nice stop. Fernandez is having a horrible game. Nascimento crosses it in, knocked away. Tobias runs it down. Back to Nascimento, across the field to Erlenbeck, and Shonia puts it far post. Son of a gun. Really don't want to see it. Fernandez, who do I have to replace Fernandez? I got Diallo. No, I don't want Matasevic, I want Diallo. Uche to Broderson to Van Horn to Malo to Van Horn. Back to Malo. Oh, Reznicek couldn't get to it. And the highlight ends. Cubero taps it to Osmani. Back to Cubero up to Erlenbeck. Long pass towards Tobias. Up into space for Joselson. It gets headed down to Shonia, though. And he pushes it wide left. Guys, tell him to push forward and they're frustrated. Verdonk, back to Broderson. To Verdonk, Maria, Malo, Reznicek, just wide right. It's not like we haven't had our chances. 
We need three goals in I don't know how many minutes. We're going to get Sutter off, bring on Matasevic, and move Verdonk back to the winger. Seferova, a very nice stop off the corner kick. Bomb it forward. The number eight is all the way out there, dude. Come on, you're supposed to be distributing it quickly. That is not it. Maria, nice first touch. Round the keeper. No. Son of a gun. Magno. Center of the field. Driving forward. Back to Erlenbeck. Up to Magno. To Nascimento. Holds it up. Osger. Top of the box and pushes it above the crossbar. Seven minutes left. Seferovic. To Benvenuti. To Malo. Back to Uche. Over to Van Horn. Out to Broderson. Dispossessed by Shonia, but it goes right to Uche. Broderson to Van Horn. Centers it to Malo. Long pass towards Matasevic, but Ozger's going to run it down. Get it to Cabero. However, Broderson steals that. Dinks it up to Matasevic. Takes the shot off the post. But Matasevic was off the si off sides. What do we need to do? Oh, man. If you told me we'd have an opportunity to win La Liga before we had an opportunity to win the Champions League, I would have thought you were nuts. Damn it. We got 9.5 million euros. We'll get some TV money as well and some coefficient money at the end of the season. That's just... That really, really sucks. We have Valladolid coming up. They're currently in 15th place, but that's, that's... That's kind of a... What am I trying to say? It doesn't reflect how good a team they are. They've had a lot of close losses. I mean, look at that. 1-0, 1-0, 1-0, 1-0, 1-0, 2-1 to us, 2-1 to Celta Vigo. So they're, they're a solid squad. They just have not had the breaks go their way. So Benvenuti suspended, Israel's out, and Pagano's out. So we're going to be back with that match here in just a bit. Oh, what are they playing? 5 2 2 1. Okay. Well, we're playing our 4 2 4, of course. Seferova can go. Broderson, Uche, Zorlu, and Fernandez is the defensive back four. Van Horn and Malo is the midfielders for Donk and Reznicek as the attacking midfielders. Matasevic and Maria up top as the strikers. Got the international break kind of underway. We've got four players out now and then uh, 13 the next couple of days. So we'll see how uh, the intervening week goes in terms of staying match fit and everything like that. 25 minutes in, Broderson on the throne to Matasevic. Dispossessed, but Broderson's there. Through the box, was Maria fouled? Maria was fouled. Who's taking this? Verdonk is, okay. And he puts it far post. His 14th goal of the season. That's, that's not bad, all things considered. Considering he's a striker and he's normally been playing winger. Half hour in, we're doing okay. Why my guys are nervous, I'm not quite sure. But I'm not going to give them a shout because... Games moving by really quick. 41st minute in. Seferovic up to Fernandez. To Zorlu. Taps it to Malu. Back to Zorlu. Out to Fernandez. Over to Maria. One taps it over to Reznicek. In the box. And he shoots it right at Rodriguez. He's not Harry Kane. That's his brother, Herbie. Okay. Interesting. So, 1-0 up, and now everybody's stressed. Okay. Broderson on the throw-in to Verdonk, to Matasevic. He tries crossing it in, but it's knocked away. Malo's going to run it down, though. Back out to Broderson, to Van Horn. Centers it to Malo. Uche. The ref, I have no idea what the ref's doing. He's walking all over the place. Reznicek can't get it in. Zorlu's going to run it down. 
Centers it to Van Horn. Back to Uche. To Broderson. Broderson holds it up. Van Horn. Verdonk. Back out to Broderson. Centers it to Malo. To Fernandez on the right side. In the box. Reznicek takes the shot. No, he doesn't take the shot. Verdonk does, though. Twice. And each time, the Valadolid keeper makes a very good save. Okay, after this corner kick, we're going to make a couple of changes. Reznicek. Zorlu in the box, dispossessed, gets it back, but Rodriguez stops it. That was well done. We're going to get Matasevic off and bring on Sutter. We're going to get Van Horn off and bring on Tim Bish. Give the youngster some playing time. Fernandez to Malo, to Maria, to Fernandez in the box. Verdonk is there, and it is in the goal past a diving Rodriguez. His second of the game. Well done, Barry. Nice little back pass by Maria. Good. Header by Verdonk. Looks like it went off Rodriguez's knee and went in. Like he dove too far. Broderson on the throw -in. To Sutter, back to Broderson. In the box, Ivar's knocks it away, but Malo's going to run it down. Out to Fernandez. He holds it up, crosses it in. Verdonk is there, and he gets his hat trick. Well done, Barry. 3-0. We're just absolutely dominating Valadolid. 23 shots, 14 on target. Nice cross. Nice header by Verdonk, too. About 75 minutes in, we're going to get Fernandez off and bring on Augusto. Get him some playing time. Coming up on the end of the match. Oh, good victory for us. 3-0. Verdonk at hat tricks worth of goals, 26 shots, 14 on target, decent possession advantage. That is a good win for us. Well, Fernandez needs some rest, so we're going to put him on rest. Um, we're out of the Champions League because we couldn't beat Schalke, which is annoying. We've got Villarreal. And then Vill we've got Villarreal coming up in the Copa del Rey final. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to play through uh, Batista and Deportivo. We're going to come back and play Villarreal next episode. We're going to play Villarreal in the Copa del Rey final, skip the Villarreal La Liga game, and come back and play Barcelona. And I believe whoever wins this is going to win La Liga. So, And, of course, we're playing it away. So, a not-so-very-good game against Schalke and a pretty good game against Valladolid. I just... I really wish we could crack the Champions League open a bit more. And I'd like to get at least to the second round or beyond. I mean, we've got the ability to do that. We're just... I don't know. I mean, like I said earlier, if you told me we'd have an opportunity to win La Liga before we had a chance to win the Champions League, I would be really, really surprised. You know? But I think maybe if we do win this year, we finish high enough, we should get out of, like, the third or fourth pod and go to the second. We shall have to wait and see, though. If you did like what you've seen and heard, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. For content, questions, criticisms, comments, leave those down below. I will answer those as fast as I can. My name is FM Jogger.